Awesome. So hi, everybody. Welcome in. Um, thank you so much for joining us for this session. This is our, like Andrew just mentioned, this is our problem solved breakout session. So you're going to be learning about Design Point's very own customer success management program. So from this point forward, we're going to be calling it CSM, uh, just so that you know, but CSM is our customer success management program. So my name is Carly. I'm an application engineer here at Design Point, and I'm joined by three of my colleagues, Andrew Parkhurst, if you want to give us a wave, Andrew Garchik, and Abby Barnhart. Awesome. So in this session, we are going to be um, taking a look at some stories and just gaining a little bit of insight about how CSM has contributed to a bunch of customer wins over time. Um, and how our engineers on our side handle these conversations and what they talk about um, with you, the end engineer and end users. Okay, so let's jump right into it. If I can change the slide. Okay, cool. <laughs> so just a little agenda about what we're going to be going over. I'm going to kick us off with just explaining what customer success management means and what it looks like at Design Point. Um, and then we'll jump into a couple of different sessions with our engineers on the call here. So we'll first be hearing from Andrew about uh, CSM conversations with our SolidWorks customers. And then we're going to jump over to Abby, which um, she's going to be explaining CSM conversations with PDM. And then Andrew Garchik is going to finish us up with CSM in 3D printing. So as you can see, customer success management covers a bunch of different areas, right? Um, CSM is just the overall program that we like to call it here, uh, and I'll be explaining it in the next slide. And then we'll just wrap up, answer any questions that you might have at that time, and then that'll be it. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, cool. So, so what is CSM, right? Before we jump into the who, when, where, what, why, at the very heart of our CSM program is our customers. That's the very first word in CSM. Right, so this is a customer-centered success program where our primary um, goal is your success and satisfaction over time. So we're, we're there to monitor your successes, provide our insight, provide our advice so that you can be the best version of yourself using the software, right? Everybody uses it differently. So we're here to provide that insight for you. When do these, well, let's start with who. Who are eligible um, to apply for this, this program? All Design Point customers are active on subscription, right? So if you're watching this, <laughs> um, this probably applies to you. Uh, and I'll have some more information on how to set you up with one of these later on. So when do these meetings occur? When do these conversations happen? We like to carry a quarterly cadence with these. Um, and they're a one hour meeting with one of our senior application engineers in the product area that you primarily are using. So whether that be SOLIDWORKS, PDM, if you're our 3D printing customer, this applies to you as well. Where does it happen? We've been having these meetings virtually. So whether your organization uses Teams, TeamViewer, um, pretty much anything we can accommodate for. So. It's, it's totally up to you guys. And then why do we have these visits? So these visits are really in place to focus on improving your usage. Like I mentioned earlier, everybody uses this software differently and we've seen it, you know, everybody on this panel can attest to that. We've seen so many different applications of SOLIDWORKS, PDM, even 3D printing. Um, and our goal is to basically provide our insight and our experience to help you improve your overall workflows, okay? And the goal here is, again, to drive your successes over time. So how you're probably wondering, how is this different from tech support, right? Tech support is great when you have, you know, an immediate issue that you want solved and you can call in, get one of our engineers on the line quickly. CSM is more of a check-in over time, right? We're going to be continuously checking in with you on a quarterly basis, not only to monitor and improve your workflows with all the new features that are coming out in SOLIDWORKS, but also to build solid relationships with you. We wanna know what's going on. We wanna know how you're using the software and how we can help you uh, moving forward. So that was just a little recap of what CSM is to get you excited about it. Uh, now I'm gonna pass the torch over to Andrew who's going to explain CSM in SOLIDWORKS conversations. So Andrew, if you want to take it away. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, go ahead and go to the next slide. All right, so just a little bit of fun 
welcome to our world here at Design Point. We've got a great company atmosphere. Um, and a uh, little bit about me. Uh, I got a dog. I got a pandemic pup in January, and he comes with me everywhere. And he's a small guy, so he sits on the little console in between the chairs, and then he puts his paw up on my shoulder, and then we just we roll out. So <laughs> this is a pretty fun picture. But yeah, that's that's something. If if you you know call in on tech support, and I'm yelling at Buddy. That's that's who that's who that cute little guy is the culprit. All right, go ahead. Go to the next slide, Carly. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've been starting to do CSM visits uh, repeatedly with uh, our customers. And what I love to see is some of the topics are consistent, you know, and it, this could be large companies that are working like with a team atmosphere, or it can be medium sized companies, small companies when you don't feel supported. Um, so, some of the things, uh, you know, I really notice you come through uh, Design Point for training and then. You're just expected to know everything. And if you, you know, get rusty on anything or, you know, yeah, I know we covered that. Or what was that topic again? If you don't have a large group or you don't have like a CAD admin or master to kind of look to, where are you going to go? So some of the topics that CSM, it just, it feels like, you know, people that got done with training and then they didn't know what to, what else to do. So, you know, working with vendor files, so McMaster car, or maybe you have a, a large truck body or different things like that. Um, large assemblies, internal, you know, assemblies that you have a, a variety of components and sub-assemblies. Or if you're a first-time user of SOLIDWORKS, you know, you just got hired at a company and you had a lot of AutoCAD experience or maybe a lot of Creo experience and you, you want to get comfortable with the software. You know you're a capable designer and engineer, uh, but you need that little bit of leg up. Uh, and then that's for newer old users, just efficiency, just being able to feel like you're doing the best work possible because you're using the tool as best as it can be used. Two things that are very specific are toolbox use and templates. Those things come up a bunch and we can point you towards references or, or resources that can really help you out. We can talk to you about what's uh, possible with, with utilizing them to the best of our ability. Um, so we really love to get into practical topics with our users and again, I think this is a great topic for everyone to know about because you come out of training and you might feel like you don't have what it takes and we can give you that extra push of, no, you just, you can do this and we just need to kind of show you a couple of things. So let's go to the next slide. One of the best things that I love to share, and this is something that I, I picked up on through going to 3D Experience World. That's the annual event for, for Dassault Systems. Uh, and I watched different presentations. I started doing research, but that was just the large assembly tools and the evaluation. So I've had customers that call in and they don't even know why the system is slow. Like this takes three minutes. This takes 15 minutes to open this assembly every time. Every time it saves, it takes five minutes. What can I do? And immediately there's some tools that, that people just don't know about. So there's things like the performance evaluation. So you can get a quick readout on all the different things going on inside of the system. Uh, there's assembly visualization. So you can start to see the graphics of how each component is kind of weighing down the system. Oh, I never realized that this one had all this internal geometry. It's bright red in the system. That's kind of just pointing you to where you could save time and energy by focusing your efforts on that component and once you have that fixed, the whole rest of the, the assembly might work that much better. Um, and usually it comes down to modifying, simplifying geometry for your components and sub-assemblies so that you can get better performance, okay? I've done a webinar on that. I love to send that to people uh, as a link, a YouTube link. So that's something that I love to share with people. So one of the things that's a responsibility for me is marketing. And that's a really great opportunity for you if we're talking on a CSM visit and you need like the topic of toolbox came up a bunch. And so that influenced what we did in our marketing side of, of Design Point supporting our customers. And we were able to write specifically to that need as resources so that we could use those repeatedly with our customers. So we have a resource library on our, our website and I'll point people to it. I'm proud of it. I want people to go to it. I want people to check in with it. I want us to uh, use that with us and our dialogue with you. And then if you have dialogue with us, 
we want to create that new content that supplies those needs. Um, the other thing is that, like I said, the large assembly, we did webinars and we sometimes have them, uh, we'll announce those and just keep your ears open for them. Um, but the other thing is that we just, we're connected with a much larger network, SOLIDWORKS, DASO systems, 3D experience, um, it's, it's worldwide. And it's something where we can help you navigate and find exactly what you're looking for. Um, and whether it's through optimization, like efficiency, like, we're, like what we're talking about, or if it's an issue uh, with tech support. So what we love, love to see, I've seen this with countless customers, is that we have tech support cases that come out of this. Hey, uh, checking back on you, I found out about this, you know, after talking with you guys, and they said, hey, our designer is having a little bit of performance issues. That's a tech support case that we'll call back on. Um, but honestly, most of the time, it's just seeing what you're working on so that we can understand better and you can understand better. And that, that builds a better relationship. So in general, these CSM visits, uh, I love them. I mean, it's something, like I said, the large assemblies that's come up all the time. Um, or some of our team, I love working on it as a team because Abby's gonna share some really cool stuff about what you do with uh, PDM or, or 3D printing. And some of those, you know, it takes a, a small village to really be successful in this kind of digital age. And, uh, you know, it's hard to be an expert on every single thing. So this is almost like having uh, experts in your back pocket to kind of pull out and feel like you're you're really uh, being efficient and competing uh, in the in the global context. So, awesome. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Thanks for covering yes. that. That was that was great. And you know, some of you may be watching this and thinking like, I don't even you know, SolidWorks isn't my main product that I use. That's okay. We're willing to look at anything with you, right? Electrical simulation, PDM, like we're going to hear in a second, three D printing. So. If SolidWorks is not your thing, that's okay. Take everything that Andrew is saying and apply it to your product because these are conversations that can happen across the board um, with any topic that you wanna discuss, right? So thank you, Andrew, appreciate that. That was awesome. Um, so let's jump over to Abby and she's gonna be discussing with us CSM conversations using PDM. All right, awesome, thanks. First, can you guys hear me? Yep, Good. sound great. Okay. Awesome. So if you join us for a PDM CSM visit, it's very possible that you may talk to me or one of our alt other awesome PDM all-stars. Uh, but me, if you're talking to me, you're talking to a kid at heart. I love SpongeBob. This is when I met him at Universal a few years ago. Uh, and I've done this at past MIP events. Every year I always get at least one new follower from it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> um, I like to make crafts and I've kind of turned it into a little side business. These are called string arts. And actually the one on the bottom is of Colleen who just got married last year. She works for us. And the last thing I'll mention is that earlier this year we had a virtual event at Design Point of a talent show. And this was my submission. That was the best talent there, by the way, just for Thank the record. You. I didn't win, but it's okay. But you won in our hearts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so the types of customers that we help, really anybody. So even if you don't currently use PDM and you're interested in it, let us know if you have questions about it and we'll talk about it. But otherwise, um, standard or professional, we'll, we'll talk to you. And if you're a newbie at PDM, we'll help you. If you're a PDM veteran, if you've been around for a little while, we can still help you. And lastly, if you've had some kind of change recently, whether it was an upgrade or even if we've implemented something new for you like um, Web2 or replication, we like to check in and make sure that all is well. All right, so starting with new to PDM. So um, if you currently have your documents sitting in your hard drive, whether it be on your desktop, your documents, we'll give you best practices on how you can migrate those into the vault. And of course, you know, you be through the PDM admin training and the user training, but we're all human. So after a little while, you might forget how to do some things. So we'll go over um, just tips and tricks and help you make sure you understand how to use PDM. And then for the veterans, um, you know, there's always room for improvement. So we could talk about implementing dispatch. And if you're not sure what that is, it's just a way to further automate things in PDM. 
And then you might not be worried about your current employees and how they're doing. You know, they've gotten used to the groove of things. But when you're bringing on new employees, how do you streamline that process so that it's most efficient so they can learn PDM? And like I mentioned, with uh, an upgrade, we want to make sure that a couple weeks after the upgrade, you're not seeing anything unusual that you're not used to seeing. And um, of course, we're going to talk about what's new in the new version that you upgraded to and see which ones most apply to your company. All right, so an example of how this has been applied in the past. Um, this company wanted to start to streamline their engineering change process and they started to reach limitations within PDM. And just a brief description of what they wanted. They wanted to attach a document that laid out the details of the engineering change to the CAD files that it affected. And it's not that what they wanted to achieve was impossible in PDM, but the level that they wanted to take it required custom scripts, which can be difficult to maintain throughout upgrades and whatnot. And uh, it ended up taking the users more clicks to achieve this in PDM. And so after having discussions with our team, we discovered using PDM with SOLIDWORKS Manage would give them what they want without having to implement custom scripts. And uh, so this resulted in a more streamlined process. And not only that, but they can now reap the other benefits that come with Manage, such as the project management tools. So that's just one example of a PDM veteran. You know, they already have a lot going for them, but room for improvement. We, we talked about what their limitations were, and we determined that Manage would also be a good fit for them. And that's all that I have for PDM. Like I said, anyone is welcome, even if you don't currently have it. Um, so I hope to be talking to some of you soon. Awesome. Thanks, Abby. And like Abby had mentioned, um, you know, a lot of the recommendations and suggestions that are brought up during these meetings, specifically PDM. I'm not a PDM expert by any means, but I've heard a lot of stories come out of these. And it almost seems like, you know, in the customer's position, right, you may not know some of these solutions exist. And that's okay. That's totally fine. Like that's, that's why we're here. And that's why we want to have these conversations with you. Um, and we're just going to talk about it with you. There's no expectation set or anything. It's just, this is what we have solution wise. And um, if you run with it, we're there every step of the way. So thank you, Abby. I appreciate that. That was awesome. And a quick question in the chat, where do we sign up for CSM? I'm going to provide a link at the end of this presentation in the chat. Um, so just stick around and I'll get that link to you um, pretty soon. You can also go to our website under um, subscription services and there's a little box there where you can sign up or just email into support and say that you're interested and we'll get you signed up that way too. Okay, so let me pass it off to Andrew Garchik, who's going to be discussing CSM in the 3D printing area. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew Garchik. I'm also an application engineer for Design Point, and I conduct a lot of the 3D printing CSM meetings. So if you're on, you'll, you'll likely see me. So a little bit about myself. I wear a lot of hats at Design Point. I do pre-sales, helping companies evaluate the technology and figure out if it's a good fit or not. Uh, we imp I implement the technology through training and setting up the equipment, installing equipment, and I also support people in post sales with CSM, and, and I'm just available to people for support. And last but not least, I manage our metal and composite three printing facility, DP Metal, which if you're watching me, you can see behind me where I'm hailing from today. And uh, a fun fact, earlier this year, I had a second job. I actually was working for one of our customers, Catholic University of America. And I taught a course for them on composite and metal 3D printing virtually, which was a really great experience. It was really a lot of fun. I never actually taught before. So who is 3D printing CSM for? Well, it's for everybody. It's really for everybody. Our goal is to have all of our 3D printing customers signed up. And it's really for, you know, any type of customer, small, large, any type of skill level. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it, you know, we, we can have discussions at any level, whether it's kind of basics recovering or even really advanced topics. And it works a little bit different than CSM for SOLIDWORKS where you don't need a subscription. And it actually covers a lot more than just the software. We cover the Iger software, you know, operating the equipment, maintenance, calibration. We even help people with design changes that they might need on their parts. 
all kinds of different stuff, which we're going to see now uh, on the next slide. Oh, that's my cue. Sorry. <laughs> So some examples of the kind of stuff we cover, um, you know, any customer issue that you're experiencing, that's what we want to hear about. And an example of that would be like somebody trying to put continuous fiber around a small hole. Well, there's something to know there. It won't actually do that unless you add a couple rings and meet the minimum fiber distance. So that's one of those things you could get hung up on, a really little simple thing. And that's actually in our design guide. And that leads into a further conversation. Are you using the design guide, which is so important? So that's the kind of things we're checking on, making sure your operators are really, you know, using all the tools that they have, um, you know, to get the most advantage out of it. Um, so tricks and tips also, of course, we're sharing all kinds of stuff like that. Like you shouldn't load a spool hitting full spool. You should actually treat a full spool like a partial spool, believe it or not, and weigh it and enter the weights. So you can use the full amount on the spool. So that's an example of a trick or tip. And of course, best practices. Uh, part of my calibration strategy is I move the fiber nozzle up and out of the way when I'm not printing with fiber. So this is something that we share with you guys and can prevent lots of issues down the road. And of course, updates. Any new software comes out, any new materials, any new design techniques, really anything under the sun that's new, we're going to let you know about it. So that way you can take advantage of it. So a really good example of this is a customer that um, you know we recently did an install for. And because we kept in touch afterwards with CSM, they knew that if they had any question under the sun, they could reach out to me at any time. So through CSM, they, they reached out and they said, hey, we've got this bending die and we have a bit of a problem that the, the layers are delaminating. So the bottom of the part's kind of popping off the top uh, in, in use. And it's a bit of a unique example of bending die because you need a lot of strength in the XY, but because of the geometry, you also have to prevent delamination in the Z. So it's a bit of a, a bit of, you know, the three printing is kind of directional and here you need two different directions. So I was able to help them out. I know I knew of a good example of a bending die actually from a use case. And what you do is you add uh, bolts and nuts to the part. You can see they've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to this part. And what that does is it creates a clamping force to prevent layer delamination. And then also I advise them to make some rectangular cavities in the part so they could press fit some bar stock. And you can see a few pieces of bar stock pressed into there and that's to prevent uh, like a shear failure. So they made these changes to the part and it was successful and it was all because of CSM. So I can't say it enough. The, the conversations that I'm having with people, I, I haven't had a bad conversation yet. We always uncover something new, something to think about, something to talk about. So I'm really excited to be doing it with you guys and I hope all you guys sign up. Again, we want everybody, every one of our 3D printing customers to be involved with this. So thank you very much. And I'll pass it back to Andrew to wrap us up. I think I might take that from or Carly. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever thank wants you. to wrap us up, can wrap us up. No, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, Andrew Garching is like our go-to man for 3D printing uh, CSM visits. So um, really appreciate him stepping in and just explaining a little bit about those types of conversations. So just to wrap it up here, um, if you are interested in you know, having one of these conversations with us, I threw a link in the chat that um, you can sign up directly by using that link. Let me know if you have any trouble with that link. Um, but other than that, you can ask your account manager if you already have a conversation going with them. Um, they'd be happy to discuss this with you as well. And you can also just call us into, uh, when you're calling tech support, just go ahead and mention that you're interested in CSM. Um, if you have any additional questions, anybody on our team can, can answer those. Um, so at this point, we're getting to be around like 1130. So are there any questions uh, that you may have after hearing from each of, of us on the team? And feel free to ask specifically to Andrew or Abby or Andrew <laughs> or me. Um, feel free to just shoot a question in the chat. Any comments? And like Andrew um, Garchik was saying, these, these visits have been great. I've been on a lot of them. Each of us here have been on a lot of them. Um, it's just awesome to get to know you guys on, on such a personal level. It really is a one-on-one -on -one conversation 
where we're learning not only about you know what you're doing for your organization but how you are as a person <laughs> and i think that's what i love about it is it's just a really like personal conversation that we have um that that we love to have with you guys and of course learning about what you're doing is always exciting for us and it sparks i see that it sparks an excitement on both sides <laughs> when when we get to talk about it with you so it, it really is really is beneficial and also uh just got pinged from a coworker. Don't want to forget about mentioning the keynote speakers. If you guys are around around uh, noon and 3 p.m. today, there are two keynote speakers that we have that are going to be awesome. So if you want to stick around, um, it's going to happen at noon and 3 p.m. Good question. How long does a CSM visit usually take? It's anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So typically we love to spend the whole hour with you if you have that time. But if you don't have the time, we totally understand. Um, I've had a 20 minute conversation with somebody because I had to run. So it's, it's really however long you want up to about an hour. Um, visits are free of cost. Yes, uh, visits are free of cost to any customer on subscription. Yep, good question. Any other questions? Oh, thank you, Teodora. Appreciate it. So there's a question from William Gennett. Uh, can CSM be used to answer questions for someone researching possible equipment purchase, or is this more for tech support? Garjek. Yeah, so this is this is a support thing. This is um, you know typically not part of an evaluation, but of course our engineers are available to you during an evaluation. So if for any reason you have a question and you're looking at, uh, you know, these printers, um, you know, just reach out and we're, we're happy to help you with, with anything we can. Also, just want to mention while I have the mic here, we have a, a 3D printing trade show booth set up and it's a little unique. We actually have a live Zoom feed. So we're all in kind of the same Zoom meeting over there together. So you can jump in and ask questions and, and just have a conversation with us. We'd love to talk to you. And we also have our Metal X actually printing on a live feed, which is really cool. So you can see the Metal X in action. And if you actually want to see anything else in the lab, we can kind of, you know, just as you ask, we kind of go around the room and show you stuff. So please uh, come check out our trade show booth. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be there. That's going to be cool. <laughs> OK. That was great. Thanks, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, so trade show booths. We've got a lot of cool things uh, that you can stop in and do a video chat or just chat and get a lot of great resources. We've got a grab bag. You can start to get either videos or PDFs or all the kind of different resources. Uh, the What's New is playing in the auditorium. We've got uh, a bunch of, uh, we've got a What's New trade show booth. We've got, oh yeah, you can win some prizes by, by going to the different locations. Uh, seeing the top, you know, features in 2022, all those kind of things are available. We've got the keynote speakers at noon. Um, and then in this afternoon, we've got our business transformation sessions, and those are going to be really, really cool as well. So thanks so much for joining us for CSM. This session is going to close now, but the uh, MIP event is going on until four. We've got lots of other things for you to join and be part of. So thank you guys so thanks, much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Appreciate everybody. It. Thanks for your time. Bye.